Pat Carrigan, our footy bloke, is in our Brisbane Bronco on B105. Morning. How you going? It's good that you're in because we have um, coming up in a couple of minutes um, on the air with us, Isla Fisher, mm-hmm. the actress. Yep. Um, we've interviewed her so many times and we're thinking, mm, maybe it could be your turn to interview her instead. Oh, truthfully. Yeah. Dead set. Not truthfully, this is a paid lookalike pretending to be Isla Fisher. Oh, yeah, right. Do you know much about her? Not a lot, no. So you've got a cheat sheet next to you. Yep. She's going to come up on the screen in a second. I think we're doing Zoom with her. Um, we'll introduce you and then let you uh, take over. A few moments later. Isla Fisher joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Our B105 Brisbane Bronco, Pat Carrigan, is in. So morning, um, morning. So we're going to leave him with you to conduct this interview if that's okay. Okay, fantastic. Okay. All right, thanks, Elsa. You've got this. Thank you. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> For some reason, every time I come to the yeah, studio, no, Isla, they it. always literally walk out on me. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, that's all right. <laughs> You're um, starring Mary in the new show, Wolf Like Me. Um, it's a pretty, um, well, I've seen a lot of it around Brisbane. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it for, for um, people driving to work that might not know? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Wolf Like Me is a genre-bending romantic dramedy. It's, it's a really deep academic look. Home and Away days. They were, I've got some really great memories of Home and Away. Yeah, cool. Um, now, I have to ask, I understand that you're married to Sacha Baron Cohen, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and then you guys recently had your 10-year wedding anniversary. Um, a bit like the show, it's a bit spicy, but how do you guys keep things alive for, for so long after, um, you know, being together for 10 years? <laughs> um, you know, just how any regular couple would, just lots of love and yeah. lots of communication. Next question. What about a second series of the show? I can't say yet. Um, I'm I, I'm very hopeful. Let me just say I'm very hopeful. Let's all just cross our fingers. Awesome. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to um, seeing it. And I, I know all of Brisbane, Brisbane are, and especially Australia. So um, thanks for joining Thank us you. this morning. No, that's all right. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I keep coming in, hey? Hopefully you guys got to know a bit about Isla and not my hey, terrible nice skills. <laughs> it's always hard to know how to wrap up an interview. That's oh the hardest God. part, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking at these questions as well, mate. Um, was she funny about the Sa- Sasha Baron Cohen? You didn't ask about a partner, did you? She was just like, next question. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. annoyed was she out of 10? I feel like it's like, you know, when your parent opens your report card for the first time and they see like D's in behaviour and mm-hmm. it's like not... Overly angry but disappointed initially, oh, that's and worse. then yeah. Well, we've got good news for you. That wasn't Isla Fisher. No, <laughs> I, I, the whole time I was thinking that this. Please, please, please don't be Isla Fisher. <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt on B105. Hi Pat, thank you so much for the interview. I don't know if you figured it out by now, but I am in fact not Isla Fisher. My name is Emily Christopher, and I am but a simple actress. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I hope I didn't, but I that was my job. So also I hope that I did. Thank you for being so lovely.